Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining today. We are gonna be finishing up Isabella from Encanto. So um, it's the dress with all the flowers. So let me show you what we have so far. I have a bunch of flowers that I wanna um, put together with you guys, but let me show you what it looks like. So here she is. So you can kind of see like the start of the dress. I kept it to three colors. I did a pale pink, that I'm using some pan pastel just to give it a little bit of a blush color more because it, um, I don't know, I, I was looking at this and uh, online her dress looks like the, it's got um, blue, like pale blue, purple, and pale pink. So I stuck to those colors and I tried to like bling it out. So the cutouts are from the file. And the reason why I kept them in is just to give myself uh, more of like a guideline of like a road map of where to put the flowers so like here I'm gonna put some right here and then it's gonna trail down like this and over to here so the majority of the flowers are gonna be right here and then like two right here so I kept some of these just to give myself like I said a little bit of a road map of where the flowers should be the only one I put down so far is this one and the reason is there was um <laughs> i had like a black mark from something i don't know so i put that flower right there um if you want to see how i did this i did this on an instagram reel so i basically took thread took ribbon and looped it through to give it the little cinched look and then i put it down and then added the rhinestones so while i didn't love if you guys remember i didn't love this color of the vellum paper but with the rhinestones, with this, it clearly looks like it's lace right there. So I'm super happy with how it turned out. This little flower for her hair, I have it. Here it is. This is on also an Instagram reel. So I use crepe paper and kind of just, um, you know, pulled it out. And I'm going to show you. It's this. It's basically crepe paper. And I smoothed it out like this with my fingers to give it like, a ripped you know like a petal ish kind of look so it's not so flat and then basically just glued it on like this like little by little I started adding it I didn't have the right color flower so I went with this color adding the pan pastel to it like make like you would with makeup and that's how I kind of I blended it to make it feel lighter than this magenta so that it would go so it would look like this I'm gonna stick this through so this ended up being three flowers that I kind of smushed together to give it this which I you know I'm in love with it right now because it, it's not flat it doesn't look like cardstock and I wanted that to be next to her beautiful face, like a really pretty flower. I even had considered like a real flower, but then I'm like, it's gonna die, and then what am I gonna do? So this is my alternative. We're going to put, none of these are glued down. The only one that's glued down is this one. So let me show you kind of what I was, see like this is small, this one, you know, like it's gonna go here and there, kind of just, a blend it's gonna look really really pretty so let me move all these flowers out so that we can kind of see what we have and this is kind of how I did Frida as well I don't know how many flowers I'm gonna use I don't know if I'm gonna use all the flowers but um, I'm gonna stick with the three different colors of paper and then I also did um, two sizes of everything so let me move this aside so I cut you know I cut all my pink and then I cut all my purple. All my purple has the same uh, types of flowers, which there are quite a few types of flowers. And then I shrunk it down a little bit so that they have different sizing of each type. So, all right, let's get started. We're right now, we're just gonna put together some of these flowers and then see where that goes. All right, so while I was scrolling these days, I'm on Instagram and I'm on TikTok quite a bit. Um, I saw someone do flowers and this is how they did it. Okay. They took one of these rollers, which I've always had, but I didn't know how to use it really. And they rolled the flowers beforehand almost to like prep it 
to be curled in, right? And then I have my little quilling tool. This is on Amazon. It's super cheap. It's a great tool to have um, to roll flowers. There's a little slit right there. You're gonna stick the paper in between and then put it to the edge and then you're just gonna roll it in. You always roll into the center. Okay, so anytime you have one of these with the center like that, you roll from the outside in. So I'm gonna roll in. And you know, this is one of my favorite flowers because it's it's a spiral, so it doesn't look so um, so much like cardstock. I guess that's where, I love cardstock flowers, but I don't love it because I don't like that it's so stiff looking. So I, I try not to do those flowers that drive me insane. <laughs> So you can see it's, I know it's really hard to see because look how small that is. All right, um, so that's that one. These are real, oh, let me show you. So I cut the blue, so I wanna show you what that looks like. So I pulled out the excess, but this is what the pink looked like. So you can see there's multiple sizes, and then I did it in the pale pink, and then I did it in the purple. Look at the blade. This center, I love it. So we're gonna do a little bit of each one and hopefully that's enough to kinda, I'm gonna show you how I would go about doing it. So this center is this little guy right here. And to be honest with you, if I'm gonna do the design space tutorial after this for the flowers. I already did, did the design space tutorial for Isabella, like how to make her 30 inches, but I'll show you the flowers that I chose um, I mean, I'm not really sure how to put these together because they don't always come with instructions, but I'm, this is how I did it. And I like it because it's not gonna be flat. So you can kind of see like it bends, it's gonna stick up from her dress, which I absolutely love that idea. Okay, so here's a bigger one. I'm gonna do this spiral so that you can see it, why I love this flower. And obviously we're not gonna do all of these but I will do um, a few of these. So these I love too. So you can see this one's two layers. These, I'm not even sure if I'm doing them right. Uh, like these two are the same size. This one has a smaller size and then the outer, you know, the outer is bigger. So I'm not sure what you're supposed to do actually. <laughs> I kind of just cut a bunch to see what I like and that's what I went with. And then I added gems like the rhinestones just to, kind of keep it subtle because I wanted to keep the colors very much true to what I saw um, you know on screen and um, because her dress I mean everything is so pretty but I feel like um, it's still very subtle so I wanted to keep all that but I didn't want it to look too plain so that's why I brought in the rhinestones so let's see, what do we have here? So I'm pulling this off right now. I'm gonna show you how I pull it off. So this is my green mat. I cut everything on my green mat. So you see, I'm just pulling it with my fingers. So you don't need to flip this over. Look, it, it's pretty straight, okay? Um, I don't like to flip it over because I have two dogs. They're not allowed in the down in the art room. So they've never been in the art room. So there's no like dog hair. Um, it's clean down here, but you get, I mean, it's not so clean that I would want my sticky mat to be flipped over on my, I don't know. I've got like glue, uh, anyway. So I am not a fan of flipping things over. So, all right, and then all right, so you see I'm just pulling these off and then that should be enough to get us started. Okay. All right, so you can see I pulled off that much. I still have these, all right? Okay, so let's look at this. Um, let's rule this. So this, I also did this just to prep it to get ready to be curled. And look, see, it does curl nicely like that. Look at, right, it basically turned into a C. Okay. OK, 
Okay, and then I'm gonna roll it in. I mean, I love this middle. It's just so stinking pretty and delicate and awesome. <laughs> so I have it like this, right? And then I'm just gonna glue it. Whoa, my glue has been so drippy. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue down and that's gonna dry really quickly and it's gonna keep its, you know, keep it tightly rolled together. And then basically these, I'm going to layer it in threes. Let's put down the first one. So I'm gonna glue around the open circle. Put this one down and stack it so that it's not exactly in the same spot, right? And then on this one, it's going to be slightly over a little bit more. Okay, so the three layers are all showing at some point. Okay. Um, and then at this point we can take this and I like, so this is from Leah Griffith. So she does the flowers. So I bought the whole set. So it came with this, but this is the same thing as the Cricut one. It just has this extra little shape, but it doesn't come into play. So on this one, I'm going to curl like this because it's going to sit on the, on the dress. Right. And I don't, so I can't curl it out. I'm going to curl it in and up. So you see, and you can kind of, some of these you can maybe bend down a little bit more. Okay. And this just feels so much more than just a cardstock flower. And then once I put this little guy in, so I'm going to put it right in the middle. And then I'm going to just take my fingers and kind of like it. Right? I mean, it's this doesn't feel like cardstock at all to me. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this in there. I mean, that's really, really pretty. Um, on this one, I'm not gonna add any rhinestones or anything to it. I mean, I could, I could add maybe on the tips or something, but I'm gonna leave it like this. So next to the pink, this one's only two layers, this one's three layers. And they're, you know, the sizing is a little bit different. So it's gonna look kind of repetitive, but not. And then look at this one. This one's just two. And look how open it is, right? And then I added the little pink, the little pan pastels to it. So let me show you how to do that. Um, let's do that on, maybe on this one. So on this one, same thing, right? You're gonna roll from the outside to the inside. I'm just gonna curl this, just prep it a little bit to get it ready. Okay, then I'm gonna roll from out to in, okay? So let's get this in, all right. Oh, you know what, before I do that, hold up. Here, I'll leave that in there. I'm gonna take this, so it comes with like, basically makeup sponge, right? Like a beauty blender. And then I'm just gonna take some, I just want a slight hint of color. I don't want it to be like violet, but I want just a little bit of color. And I don't think that on camera you can see, but I will take close up pictures um, for Instagram and for the blog post. So you can always, when you're looking for pictures and you only follow me on YouTube because maybe you don't like Instagram or Facebook or TikTok, you can always go to my blog to get all the pictures. So that's the uselesscrafter.com. All right, so I've got it back in here. I'm gonna roll this up. And, oh getting a little bit out of control. I'm gonna pull it out. These are super tiny flowers. So I'm gonna let it unravel a little bit and then I'm gonna put glue to the bottom to keep it in place. Okay, so 
it's going to look like that. So for the moment, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring her back now that we have a few different colors, I'm going to start to stack some of these. And I like that it's not going to be like super flat on the thing. When you glue this, we're going to use um, the hot glue gun and it will stay in place. We'll glue it and it'll stand up like that. Um, okay. I think I like that little purple one. It's so pretty. Um, maybe with, um, this one. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. <laughs> we could put this one or maybe another, I haven't rolled another blue one, huh? Let's roll a blue one and see what that looks like. Um, I'm going to pull it off the mat right now. But I want like a little trail right here. So like the two, the one, maybe a few more. So more like rolling that way. I don't know how many flowers that's going to be. This feels a lot like when we did Frida. I kind of just rolled a bunch. And then I ended up, I, you know what? I think I used almost all the flowers. Um... But you know, some are closer than others. And so it's not necessarily that you see all of it, but all the space was taken up and it just looked really, really pretty. So, all right, let's see. All right, so I've got that in. I'm gonna start rolling it in. I think she's just so pretty. I, I was a little bit worried because I did so much for the details of Mirabelle and I felt like with Isabella it was just flowers which we've seen you know we're so used to seeing flowers with Mirabelle she had the pom-pom she had the tassels she had the stitching I feel like she had even though it wasn't flowers which flowers are just so pretty um I felt like she had the more beautiful details so I struggled with this one with what to do with it um, but I'm like so happy with it right now. All right, so we've got that. Maybe, I don't want to keep them so similar. Maybe like, well, that looks just like that one. I don't know. <laughs> so um, I'm going to start placing them though so you can kind of see what I mean. I know, I really need to start doing a few more, finishing up all these. I love that one. Um, and we need to fill up, you know, the little black spots, right? So the way these go down, they have to be sitting kind of like this so that the whole black is covered up. I don't want the black to be distracting. So they might need to be a little bit bigger. Um, we've got this one. We've got this little guy. And it could be in the end that, well, once we do all the blues, that will give it more color. Um, we could always add more rhinestones to give it a different color as well. So you can kind of see these little guys. Or maybe something like this where you lift it up a little bit and you have this one sitting on top and these two poking out at the bottom. So that's what we're going to do. Let me show you. Let's do some rhinestones. Let's do one. Let's put these two together. And on this one, let's see, it's going to look like that. We could even stack one more and do three of those. So we did three like that, then maybe these three will do like this together. And that will make it look, yeah, look how full that is. It's so pretty. Okay, so that's what we'll do. So on this one, 
Let's curl all these before we put them down. This one, same thing. Now I'm putting a lot of pressure on the center because these are kind of thin and I feel like um, I'm kind of pulling on this hard. So to curl it, I don't want the whole petal to just tear off. So I have a lot of pressure holding down on that thing. Okay, and then the last one. All right, so let's glue this one together. This one's coming up. Oh gosh, okay. Good Lord. <laughs> let, me, let me get the excess of the glue off, gosh, okay. And I'm just gonna glue around the big hole. Put this one down. And then we'll put this one down. I mean, look at that, so pretty, right? So on this one, I'm just gonna stick a simple, simple one in. With these rhinestones, these little things really, really help. So I know, I have a lot of gadgets, but this little guy, what happens is you do this, and because of the, the lines on the inside, it helps the rhinestones flip over to the right side up so that you can go in with your little rhinestone picker and it's so much faster. I didn't believe that I needed it until I did more than like a few rhinestones. The second you start to do more than like three, you want it. Trust me. All right, see, so it lifts up. I'm gonna put this down, okay? And then just to prove my point, I'm gonna do the small ones around it, okay? So on this one, I'm gonna move that a little bit, center it. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of glue all around and then I'm gonna go in with the, the small baby pink ones. So I love when like you stick with the same set of colors but you do it with different types of cardstock, with different rhinestones, like you start mixing things in and it just all looks very complete, like cohesive, full, not repetitive, but then also still cohesive, which I think is not always the easiest thing to accomplish. So just a delicate, pretty little blue thing. I think I have a lot of those. So I'm gonna need other flowers in between. So I'm, I'm gonna move this a little bit so you can see the dress. So that's gonna need to come up like that. I love these two. So I'm actually just going to get it down. And I wanna make sure that the black is covered, which it is, and then on this one, I'm gonna do this here. And I feel like on this one, I might want it up a little bit, even a little bit more, just so that it's not next to each other, but like a little bit on top. So on this one, I'm gonna add a foam tape, a glue dot, a foam dot. Okay. Oh my God, look at how much that glue is dripping. Okay. So I love that it's 
more than right next to each other it's like layered so it doesn't feel like one right next to each other but like a little bit like that okay all right that one's so pretty um we're gonna do another one let's do so this one i honestly i don't know how what it's supposed to look like i ended up making it like this so i'm assuming it goes like this i don't know <laughs> but that's what i'm doing i'm going to make them overlap this section so i'm going to pull this up and go like this So the back looks kind of weird that that's why it makes me feel like that's not the right way to do it but i don't know <laughs> and then this one well let's curl these out a little bit And look how different that looks curled out. Oh, I can't even hold it, right? Okay. Now on this one, we don't necessarily have to put them together. We could do this just to make it look a little bit different. Let's just curl these out a little bit and see what we have. I don't know, I'm gonna curl some of these up and some of these out. Does that look weird? Nope. All right, I'm gonna glue these two together. And then I'm put a little rhinestone in the middle. And let's do a bigger piece for that one. Let's do this one here. So this one's gonna be kind of kind of plain on the plain side in here somewhere. Okay, we need more blues. The purples are all done. I'm wondering, shoot. Okay, we've got purple up there. We'll sprinkle these little purple ones somewhere in here like this. Okay, then we've got blues and we've got pinks left. A lot of these. A lot of pink ones. I don't know how I feel about that. All right. Um, I might have to cut another sheet of flowers. I think I might have to do another shade, a different shade of purple, and none of these petal ones. I've got to get some more in there. But once you decide where things go, then you glue like we did with this one, right? A little bit, you start out, um, you pick one up at a time and then you glue it down and then it's final. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna piece these together. That's how you do it. Check out the design space tutorial so that you get to see which flowers I used and the sizing of it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.